With an objective to create awareness to stop all forms of violence against women, the Nagaland State Commission for Women on Saturday launched the fortnight observation on elimination of violence against women. Sarah R. Ritsi, Secretary of Social Welfare Department, addressing the gathering stated that gender-based violence poses a great hindrance in achieving gender equality as it has no geographical, social or cultural boundaries. Asserting that crime are in the race though the state is considered as one of the safest place for women, she said that gender-based violence is manifested in the form of rape, domestic violence, sexual harassment, if teasing and even through cybercrime. Ritzi highlighted the special legislation on sexual harassment on women at workplace, Prevention Prohibition and Redressal Act 2013 and mentioned some of the significant initiatives taken up by the Department of Social Welfare to gather two women affected by violence. Ritsa called for a collective effort to address the root cause of gender-based violence that is deep-rooted in the society where many women still feel that they are not treated equal to men. In the meantime, Chairperson of NSCW Dr. Demsula Ao speaking on the topic customary law and gender said, Redefining customary law must begin from within the patriarchal setup who are the custodian of the law. Because the fundamental discrimination against women are enshrined in the very laws. During the 16 days, NSCW through the apex tribal women bodies in the state will be carrying out various activisms, including distribution of pamphlets and also dedicate to advocacy and coordination of work in support of ending violence against women. Within Zangwe Mokhuvung, APN Kohima.